right, we're staying at Sky Park Camp and RV Resort. This is luxury camping. <laughs> really enjoyed it. The price was, was up there. Uh, I was a little nervous about that, but being here, very worth the money if this is something that you need. So I'll talk about pros and cons, things you should know. Let's go over the camp rules as I normally do. I'll show a little bit of the campground from last night to this morning, and then I'll talk about my recommendations if you plan on coming here. Check in and check out. Check in is after 1 p.m. Check out is at 11 a.m. Site capacity, six per RV, four per tent. Vehicles must fit within your designated site. Children must be supervised at all time. Quiet hours are 10 to eight. No generators aren't done this time. Please be courteous. Two dog max. You must be you know, cleaning up after then. You must be on the leash. Alcoholic beverages are restricted in your campsite and not allowed in common areas. No glass containers. Smoking, no smoking, or vaping allowed in common areas. Laundry is located near restrooms. Trash, bears are present, so you gotta do, you know, put them in the, the right spots and be a little bit careful. Wildlife, we have an abundance of wildlife, including rattlesnakes, bears. Do not approach, harass, or feed them. Bathroom parking is 10 minute max. So as I've done, let's go through the video, we'll come back and I'll tell you kind of the things you need to know and why I think it's about $110, $115 a night. It's pretty worth it. Let's start with the pros. So fire pits over there by where the camp house and restrooms are were awesome. I made some quick food there yesterday. We hung out for a couple hours just at the fire pit. This is summertime, it's Labor Day, so it's hot during the day. And at night, it's a really nice temperature for like a t-shirt and shorts. Bathrooms are huge. You can change in there. You've got showers, toilet, running water. Everything you need is in there, including shampoo, soap, those are included in the shower. We also have laundry, which is fantastic. You're here for a longer period of time. Sink, so you have a sink there where you can wash your hands or anything if you don't want to go into the bathroom. Active camp hosts, you guys know that I like when the camp hosts are active. When you get here, you can check in via the email or you can go straight to where the bathrooms are. There's a little check-in spot for the camp host there as well. And lastly, views and location. I actually did a very quick shoot here a long time ago. It was during winter time, but we stopped at one of these places. Not every spot has a view, but the ones that do, and I'll show here on the map, the views down below of like LA, San Bernardino, fantastic. Sunrise, sunset, you can't go anywhere better really than being here at your tent with these views that you're overlooking. If you can get one of those sites, highly, highly recommend. All right, we'll quickly go through the cons. Close together, yeah, uh, our neighbors were, our neighbors were right there. Uh, some of the other sites are a little more separated. You can see up the hill, but they're, they're not very far apart. Uh, insects at night are very loud, the loudest I've ever heard. Doesn't bother me, but if you're a light sleeper, you may have a little bit of trouble. They were very, very loud. Partial shade, yeah, not a lot of shade, and it's warm out here. So if you plan on being here for a few days, I'd definitely bring a canopy. And lastly, I mean, because they have the fire pits, it's not as big a deal. I always get a little disappointed when I'm camping and I can't have a bonfire. So I get it, fire restrictions and the danger. So being able to just go to the fire pits there is fantastic. If you can bring your own, you can have one at your site. The only other thing I'll mention is that there's a variety of options for you here. So there's like RV sites, which we stayed at. It doesn't have to be an RV. There's even like electric power and stuff. It said. This is luxury camping. There are designated tent sites on one spot. There's the airstreams on this side, which I'm sure for winter must be pretty nice because some of those already have the lights kind of set up. Other than that, guys, like if you're looking at just like quick, dirty camping, this isn't it. You know, you're paying $115 a night. But if you're looking to camp with some family, have enough space, you know, people who are running water sinks and that kind of stuff, this is a great, great option. Luxury camping for a win. All right, I'll see you guys next week.